What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We are out here at Galat Motorsports Park for the PDRA event and uh, we're hanging out with the Party Time uh, Racing so Crew. And they're getting ready for a first round yeah, qualifying we'll and we're going to stick the camera in his face and talk to him a little bit and see what he's got going on. And uh, we're going to watch him do some racing. So, uh, hopefully they do well. They ran a, what did they run a 373 earlier today? Which is a call and ass. So, we'll check in with Jason here in just a second. Alright, so we got to talk over everyone here we got Jamie here Jamie what's the setup on the car what are we doing right now Q1 what's the goal Trying to go by A to B A to B what's the, what's like a good number if you guys lay down a number right now you'll be happy with 69, 69. Whew. So you got you got a tune up in it huh so you're trying to go like number one right out the gate and then just take it easy for the we got that Louisville slugger. <laughs> all right well, we'll get up with Jason here. Jason like run, comes to the stage and just runs away and just like... He likes to intimidate all the competition before qualifying. I saw him running around with a shirt off before. So that's what he's doing. So. And we got... No, no one does. We got Wes here. Wes, look at that hat. Limited edition LS Nasty hat. Very nice. Very nice. Boo Boo Fabulous. Right there. Right there. We got Jason here. You've been missing for a minute. What's going on? How's it look? But, hey, can't go wrong with that. It looks like a good track, huh? So, going into Q1, I asked Jamie what number he thinks. I'm not going to tell you. What do you think it's going to run? What's your goal? What would you be happy with Q1? 71 or faster. I feel like it'll run 69.7. You and Jamie are on the same. Jamie said 69 might go 68. So what are you looking to do? Your goal here is just get down and through, put a number up on the board? Yeah, we have so... Like you really don't know what to do. So do you go out here and you play it safe and try to get down the racetrack, or do you try to set the board on fire? You really only guarantee two runs. Okay. You kind of got to make what you hit. Um, being that the way the crew, the, the crowd that I've built the cars I've seen, I think I, mean, I don't think I'm having problems. And I've got time to work on it if something happens. So you're you're planning to make two runs tonight? No, one run tonight. One run tonight. So this is it. This is your only run. All right. We go into tomorrow. Hopefully, we can get one if it doesn't rain, and then we go into Saturday with one and give us one on Saturday. So. so this is kind of important. I like it. Yeah. You want to make a good hit here. Yeah, we got one more. You just got to use your head. Now you made a test pass earlier today. Yeah. What'd you go? Seventy-three. At. Two hundred one. Two hundred one. So you got some mile an hour. Yeah, we did it in the heat of the day. So. Okay. So you're looking forward to it. Yeah, and we didn't lay the cold to it. We tried to run seventy-three and went seventy-three. So. Okay. Well, best of luck. You got number one on the window. Why is that? I won everything. <laughs> 2018 champion. You got you got target on your back. I do. What are you what are you gonna do to, to stay number one this year? Run fast as hell. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. Have fun out there, and uh, we'll be recording. Number two spot so far. You'll have the second fastest mile per hour.
So can we get can we get a slight rundown on that pass? Uh, I did exactly what I was supposed to do. Yeah, I was saying. 70-0. I ain't said record. Jamie so called a 69, so I mean. We went 70-0, so we won foul on the 69. Yeah. But we just want to get in the show. You only get two qualifiers. You just got to be smart. Yeah. You got to be really smart. Everybody has to go in there and swing for the fence, get them big numbers. I just want to be set in the field. Now I don't have to worry about it. If the rain's tomorrow, I'm still good. If it goes into Saturday for the next qualifier. I mean, I've been racing a long time. There's more strategy to it than people think. So. Just gotta look at that. Yeah. I mean, sure, I mean, of course, I want to go 65, yeah. but it's better better to get a base hit than try. I like to, I like to drink beer and party, and I don't want to work on that thing. So that's why I didn't try to go 65. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just got done with Q1, down through 370 at 203. 203. 203, pretty good pass. Give me the rundown on it. Give me the tune-up for everyone out there that has no idea what pro mod racing is. Kind of explain them, start to finish. What the hell happened with the car? So, like we said before, you're going into this qualifying round knowing that you're only going to get two qualifiers because we got weather coming in tomorrow. Mm -hmm. and you're going to go qualifying one Saturday, go racing. So, you kind of got to look at two levels. You got to look at do I go out there and swing for it, try to go number one, which is good. Everybody wants to go fast, but you got to look and kind of play the logistics a little bit of it. You got to be smart about it. You got to look at I want to be in the field. Mm -hmm. I want to be sitting here with it raining tomorrow. I want to only got one more shot to get in because mm -hmm. I'm shaking tires and do something stupid. So, we went out, I put a tune up in it. I know it go down a racetrack. I know it goes 68 to 70. Would you consider this home track? Yes, home track. home track, so you have a ton of data for this track, yeah. so you put a tune-up in there that you know is consistent. It's going to be quick for the field, I would say, although I did see some pretty good numbers get put up there. Uh, but quick for the field, gets you in there, no doubts, and then that gives you tomorrow to kind of, if you want to put a fire tune-up in there and try to get a good number, you can. But right now, 370 at... 203, 209, yeah. where does that put you? That'd probably put me fifth, fourth, fifth. So you're up there, yeah, yeah. it's not bad. So, so a car like yours, you, know, you have data on that. What is like your normal, like you let go of the button, what are you 60 footing? Because everyone here knows street cars. I'm like, we cut a good 60 foot in the Boosted Rooster, 125, 60 foot, pretty good. What are you cutting in a 60 foot? Uh, 940, 947 that time. So 0.94. What do you feel in G wise? Uh, three and a half. Three and a half Gs, and, and it holds that for a pretty good bit. Hold that. It'll for you know, you'll see it trickle down. It'll say three and a half. It'll always stay above three for two and two and a half seconds. It'll jump back up when we, when we really lock everything up one to one. It'll jump up three and a half again in like two seconds. So you have a, a three speed in the car with a lock up. So essentially, it, it pretty much when you look at it on a log it has four RPM drops. Essentially, four gear changes. Even though the last one's not really a gear change. So what you do is you look at when you want to lock it up, what it'll take, back everything up. I mean, you can go after it as much as you want to go, but like you say, you got to race smart. Mm -hmm. You'll win more races being smart than you will being fast. And, and I would say probably last year is a testament to that because, yeah. I mean, how many number one qualifiers did you get last year? One. one. And how many races did he win? Six. Six races with one number. So that's pretty good. It shows you. You're more of a, like... Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll let, you're not worried about putting up the best number, no. although you were very close to a 60 there. You like to run a 60. 60s are good for you. Yes. I, I, you always talk about it. You want a 69 or a 68, but 70 you can't. I really... 68 tune up in there. It, it got up. I really wasn't aggressive as I needed to be. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, looking at it, dude, I'm so happy because it's just data. Every time you run, you get data. Mm -hmm. The faster you go. And if I can tell anybody that wants to race, no matter what you're racing, you just gotta get that. Mm -hmm. You know, you go out there, and you make a mistake, and go slower. Okay, so what? You but you, you have some information to go off of. Hey, look, I know not to do that, and I know not to go out there and swing for the fence because I will sit here and worry all weekend. I'm gonna be sitting up there nervous and try to make not make a mistake because I only have one qualifier to get in. And qualifying is most important. You can't win if you don't qualify. I hear that 100%. So there's twenty guys out there, and they only qualify sixteen. So there's four guys that are gonna go home and get the end. Not even. They're gonna come here. They're gonna they're gonna test, qualify, and go home. Go home. So, Don't even have a shot right, at it. And this is the best in the world. So, you know, if you can qualify in the top five here, you're doing something. And, you know, you just got to be smart with it. Now we'll take the data, we'll look at it, we'll look at the motor. If the motor's in good shape, I didn't blow anything up. Uh, you know, it's now let me ask you. Tune-up wise, how much more you got left in the tank? If you were to turn it up, you got some, you got some steam to throw at it. I probably left two numbers on the table. Okay, so to the to the average person at home watching, two numbers means like if I went seventy, it would have been 67. 67, 67, 67, 67. and that's pretty good. Now, track conditions wise, air, everything plays a huge factor. Would you consider it kind of fast tonight with the track, or is the track it's pretty true? It's pretty true. It's medium. The track's really good. The track was a little thin. What I mean by thin, there's not a lot of rubber buildup, so you don't have a lot of contact rubber to pack to put down on your tire. Um, with a lot of cars on like they've had today, they've had to scrape it a couple of times. So it gets thin. We get what we call ball spots. Mm -hmm. So a ball spot is just like a ball spot on a guy's head. There's just nothing there. You know, it's mm -hmm. just concrete. And 
sticky track is not always good for us. We want something. Because you're on the big tire. That tire is a 34.5, right? 36. 36. So that's 36 inches tall. 36, 17, 16. That is a massive tire. So we got so. I mean, if you're going to run a big tire, run the biggest tire you can. Yep. Right? So, you know, the tire does its job. The trick is just getting that tire going. Mm -hmm. You got to get that tire planted, get it up, get it moving. And what kind of tire is it? It's a Hoosier. It's a Hoosier tire. All right, very nice. Like very nice. So uh, pre overall, pretty good. If you're sitting number five, you're happy with that. Get to go out and do whatever you want tomorrow. Really, you can go out there and just do the same thing. Stay number five. Um, who, who went number one? Jay Cox. Jay Cox, 60, 64. 64. Yeah, and when he just he, he swung at it. I don't blame him. He, you know, he's one of those guys. He likes to run a number. He, he, he Six, 64 is a number. That's, that is what... That, that is, yeah, that's some, some mile an hour, too. Yeah. And, you, know, it, you know, I'm not saying I can't do it. I'm not saying I can't do it. But, I mean, you know, you can, you can go out there and make adjustments. He's got a lot of data on this track. He lives, you know, 10 minutes down the road here. Home, home track, home yeah. field advantage so again. He, he makes a lot of passes here. So that, that makes a difference. you got to really just, you got to play it smart. You want to go out there. You want to be in the field. You want to be solid. And you want to be able to go into Saturday Q2, mm -hmm. which is the only one you're going to get, and be able to set up your race up, which is get from one end to the other faster than the other guy. Mm -hmm. And you got to race. Sure, if you got to race, Jay, you know going into first round, you better have your stuff together. Yeah, you don't want to be doubting yourself. Right. You want to know it's going so, down and through. You know, knowing data is the biggest thing. And we got so much data. I mean, we keep three or four computers. Yeah, I saw before looking at logs. You got logs on top of logs. They'll have two or three logs from the same run. Yeah, right. Which and we is, lay runs over top of each other, and we can see where we made a mistake. If I had to say anything, I made a mistake there. I was a little light on um, 60 foot, so I could get a little more bottle pressure, turn it on a little earlier. So let me ask you that. When you're sitting in the car, you do your burnout, big smoky burnout, my ears are bleeding. It's it's crazy out there. You get smoke in the car. What are you doing in the car before you make a pass? I know we got Danny behind you checking out your wheelie bar height. Jamie is lining you up. What are you doing in the car during all that? So when I do a burnout, I kind of get a feel for the track on a burnout. I know like if it tries to tug the motor down, that the track's really tight and good. And I know that if I can do a burnout and shift over all four gears to the 60 foot without it pulling anything down, I know the track's not that great. Mm -hmm. I, I base my bottle pressure run off that. So uh, right now, I just do that and, and try to make a decision on what I want bottle pressure to be. So I know that, okay, the, the, it's really, really tight. So I'm going to get a little more, more bottle pressure. Kind of chicken footed out on that one a little bit. I should have gave it a probably 10, 15 more pounds of bottle pressure, which really doesn't sound like a lot, but it is for us. Because you're spraying how much? I'm spraying six systems. Six systems, wow. A little shot. Just, just think, one turbo is all you need. <laughs> All right, good run there. That was that was pretty stout. Um, thank you for letting me come and hang out. Everyone, check Jason out on Instagram. Do you have a Party Time Racing Facebook page too? I'll link that down below. Everyone, go and follow him. And uh, you got some new shirts. You want to give away a shirt? Yeah, give away. So go down there and like his Facebook page, and he'll give away a new Boone Harris Racing. Look at that, two-time world champ Party Time shirt. So everyone. First link in the description below will be Jason's uh, racing Facebook page, so go and check that out and we'll get you covered. Um, we'll probably, hopefully, we'll check back in with you later this week, uh, at least get an update next week sometime. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. You can see now I'll be there doing nothing. <laughs> now we look at the spark plugs. Ain't got three degrees of time and it can't dead late. Three degrees of time and that's weak. That's weak. What are you running, pump gas? 87 and that? What are you, what are you jumping soda cans? <laughs> I'm the wheelie king, all right? I just pulled a wheelie higher in the middle of the track than you did on the start. Okay. You have five point. You have a five three bore space motor. I have a five three motor. I have sissy bars too. Yeah, you have wheelie bars. Yeah. Why don't you put some small tires on hey, it? I'm Kevin Rivenbark was just over here. I should have filmed him, you know. You and and he said that you're right slow there. as hell. Where's Kevin? He's right there. Now Kevin's talking to a fan. Wins wins a hundred thousand dollars in a radio race. He's got a he has a keep, carry he stick around. Here to ask me for tools. Yeah, he does. He does. Well, he doesn't have the hat on though. Well, oh, yeah, I know. Why isn't he wearing the warlock hat? <laughs> Boo -boo fat, he's doing what he's good at. Okay, so we have a rare sighting of Jamie doing work. You know what you're doing? It's like a, you do, you got it's like a silverback, silverback gorilla. What is in the, in the wilderness? You never see this. No. 